Moment of birth. is like no other you're also extraordinary no matter if it's your fighting stance or the momentum of your swing it's perfect this sword is special i didn't want to go too deep into the research and yet i couldn't take my eyes off of it well paimon thinks that's one of your own special qualities not the swords clearly this is a mysterious yet dangerous and enticing sword Mr. Albedo must have great confidence in you to have entrusted you with such an important item. Well, you've earned his trust with your abilities! I agree with Paimon. However, the sword hadn't absorbed much energy before it was handed to you. Huh. How did Mr. Albedo recognize its uniqueness among a pile of other items in storage? A flash of brilliance often doesn't make sense. For example, Paimon's appetite for sticky honey roast. Uh, which reminds me, I didn't eat much today. I went looking for you right after completing my experiment. Then, on the way, I ran into an adventurer trapped in the snow. I spent quite some time saving him. It's not like that. Don't be so shy. Just say what's on your mind. Uh, um... Um... Let Paimon help you out. Paimon's hungry. We should grab something to eat. I'm... I'm hungry. I could really go for a... Oh... Uh, I'm just a little embarrassed. Nothing to be ashamed of. Admitting that you're hungry makes the food taste better. Huh? Is that so? Of course! Let's get moving. There must be some food back at the camp. It'd be lovely to have some sticky honey roast to keep us warm in this icy weather. Adventurer from Mondstadt? Did he come here with Cyrus to explore the snowy mountain too? I'm f f freezing. Achoo! Have you been here since I rescued you from the snow pit? I wanted to leave, but I, I got lost. I I'm sorry. Uh, uh, it's so c cold that I c can't move. Mr. Pallid, a trip to this mountain requires solid preparation. You shouldn't have treated it so lightly. I'd appreciate the assistance. I'm afraid that, in his current state, he won't be able to walk on his own. Even if we can't, we won't just leave him here, right? You're right. My apologies, Traveler. I'm sure he feels bad about the situation. He's the least of your concerns right now. You should be worried about yourself. You must have already figured out why we're here. We won't let you go unless you give us that sword. No! Please don't give them the sword! That's the spirit! Let's knock him down! Mr. Pallet, I'll take you to a safe place, quickly! So naive. We won't let any witness escape. This sword will make a fine gift for Her Excellency, Harbinger Senora! Back off!
I heard the ruckus and came over to check. So it was you who made all this noise. What happened? Did you get into a fight? M Mr. Abedo, I didn't mean to. Aren't you supposed to be organizing documents? Why did you come here all of a sudden? And you got into a fight with such a dangerous opponent in this terrain. Well, now even Paimon feels guilty. Uh, uh, I only... I'm sorry. I was just passing by. Huh. I reckon you've been led astray by yet another thing that attracted your attention. You told her everything? We just told her about the sword's properties and origin. We didn't let her touch it. We know better than that. <sighs> Never mind. We couldn't have kept her in the dark for too long anyway. Sucrose is naturally drawn to obscure knowledge and mystery. She is great alchemist material indeed. Uh, uh, I promise I won't be causing trouble anymore. I swear on the quadruple size sweet flower seed I just propagated. It's not trouble that worries me. I'm only concerned with your safety. You must be more careful next time. <sighs> anyway, what's going on with that adventurer crouching over there? I took it upon myself to protect Mr. Pallet during the battle. He should be all right. I'm... I'm freezing. He must have caught a cold during the fight. Uh... I didn't consider that possibility. It's my oversight, my apologies. Mr. Albedo, I'll check on him. Sure. Sucrose may seem a bit rigid, but she's a good kid with a heart of gold. Can't disagree. That girl. Let her out of your sight, and she winds up in the strangest places. True. Don't worry, I'm not angry. Huh. There seems to be a shiny thingy on the sword. Huh. <sighs> Another change. The sword's power is much stronger than before. How did that happen? There were some ferocious characters among those Fatui soldiers. We've never seen them before. So it's the energy it's never encountered before. It caused the sword to greatly grow in strength. So... so cold. Hold on just a little longer. Huh? Uh, uh, fire? F fire! Warp! Wait! Watch out! Into position! Prepare for battle! Adventure time!
Adventure time! The dragon's power... If the dragon's life force can revive withered plants and empower them to such a degree... Inconceivable. How could a dead tree stump turn out to be such a monster? Paimon almost got swallowed! Anyway, why hasn't anything like that happened before? Most probably it's because the sword fell to the ground. The impact must have caused its power to leak out. It's my fault! Don't make me leave, I beg you! I promise I'll stay put! Uh, Mr. Pallid, there's no need to go into a fetal position. <sighs> this Cryo Regisfine, having originally withered up and died here, is it because it hadn't been able to absorb the ambient corruption? After you purified the corruption, the resulting pure elemental energy not only revived it, but also enhanced it. Pure life force will cause it to constantly regenerate itself, together with its fighting spirit. I also haven't encountered any similar incidents. Yet, I must admit, that a phenomenon of this rarity, although unexpected, is a valuable discovery. Sucros! Uh, yes? Keep an eye on that adventurer. Take him back to the camp. Yes, sir. As for the matters at hand, I beg your pardon, Traveler, but I must ask for your further assistance. Such an unexpected mess, and we're the only ones who can clean it up! <sighs> it must be because we keep outdoing ourselves.